fun landing later. <laughs> Good practice. Oh yeah, no, I've done it before. On myself, I'm okay with windy days and bouncing around, but with passengers that are especially new, eh, I don't. It's, it's uncomfortable and they can get sick and it's not worth it. Yeah, you, gotta, you just gotta do what you gotta do to get it down, it. you know? Pretty busy here this morning. It's, it, people are up early today doing their stuff, pipeline to Block Island or Provincetown or Martha's Vineyard or who knows. Crazy, it goes in way at the end of the wing? Yeah, that has tip tanks, so you got another probably 15 gallons on the tips. Wow. The only, the only problem with that, if you have full fuel, on the tanks and then the tip tanks, you can't really bring that much more people because it, it's all done by weight. You guys are fine, you're not heavy at all. I have half tanks just just so I have you know a little more room for weight, but I can have full fuel in this plane with you guys and I have no problem. Nice. All right guys, welcome back. Who I have here, I have Nick, and I have Jenna, his wife, and today is, what is your anniversary? Hey. Today. today. Happy anniversary. Hey. One year, yeah. One year anniversary. Yep. And we have a special surprise for Jenna today. We're not going to tell her what it is, though, where we're going right now. She thought we were going on a boat. Yeah. I did. This is a boat, just <laughs> in the air. Yeah. It is. It's going to feel like one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the checklist, which is right in my po side pocket here. Make sure we're all good, everything's warmed up now. And we'll do that. So break set. Okay, checklist is complete. That's easy, right? Easy, yep. Next, time, next time you're gonna do it and fly. Now I'm gonna need that cheat sheet because I'm gonna put in the like, special code. Ah. Location code? No, oh, frequency. That's where the treasure map is, or that's where the treasure is. That's where it, exactly. Oh, let's see here. Okay, that's there. You can hold that for me. Hey, okay, we're on time. You guys ready? Cool. Yeah, ready to go. Okay, we're going to roll. Now, again, you know the emergency exit. We've been over that before. Okay, that's the handle, open the door. All right, all right. we're all warmed up. I'm gonna go to the taxi light here. Sounds good. Ready, Jenna? You ready? ready? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Cool. And Orange County traffic, uh, moving 8, 7 November, uh, taking the active uh, 26 for departure, Orange County. Hey, landing lights, strobes are on, fuel pump's on. Line up. We'll do a DG double check here. Go so to four, five, and six. Four, five, six. Good to go. Okay, so I'm going to put this this bar is the gear. So make sure nothing's in the way here so we're clear. This goes down for the gear to go up, and then we'll be set. All right, ready? Yep. All right, let's roll. All right, gear coming up. Little crosswind, it's all normal. All right, flaps coming up. That's orange kind of traffic, maybe right crosswind for 26 orange. Like a little bump, that's okay, okay? Uh -huh. Yep. All right. Edward, hi. 
traffic we're red cross went down for two six orange county you can see for miles oh yeah That's on cool. a clear night you go over to black dirt you can see at night on a clear night you can see new york city skylights and you can see philadelphia wow really all one and philadelphia is three hours away yep fuel pump coming off yeah Downwind now for a 26 Orange County. We'll be part in the pattern to the east, climbing through 1,400. See you later. So cool. Then you see that number on the runway there? 22. Oh, oh, now I do. 22 is our initial or our. First anniversary day. Oh, really? 222. Yeah. Nice. This is much better than yesterday. I'm glad we waited it out. We have a good experience today. Jeez, this is, a, this is smoother than the ride over in the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is way smoother than I expected. Well, down below is a little bit windier. It's supposed to. Uh, it was supposed to be less than what it is, but up here it's fine. Walkill River. You guys are like next door neighbors, you and Stewart. Oh yeah. Amazing how much faster you can get somewhere. Oh yeah. In the Block air. Island, I get there in 45 minutes. Once you hit the air or less sometimes, depending on the winds. Driving there is four and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful. She'll be fine like this. This is moving forward. Oh, this is yeah. It's perfect. Today is nice. I told you this is perfect. Now, yesterday, right now, we'd be bouncing we all over the place. It wouldn't be fun for her. For well, us guys, we don't give a shit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just for the most part, yeah. Yeah, we could be feeling wind down there. That's nothing like up here, right? right. Yeah. Aviation is a lot about weather. When you go somewhere, it's the first thing you got to do is what's the weather at, or where you're going, what's it going to be like? Right. You know? All that all comes into consideration. That's why you, you need to practice your your windy your windy landings, your crosswind landings, because you could be fine here. You go to Block Island, which is always kind of windy. You might have to do a crosswind landing. If you have practice, you might have a problem. level off right here. So we're a nice climb. Look at that. Perfect. Pull oh. the power back a little bit. Do you have any questions or anything you think might be wrong? Uh, just let me know. We'll, we'll, okay? Okay. Because new people sometimes like, you know, what's that? What's this? I want to make sure you're really comfortable for today, okay? We won't go fast. So nice and slow. How high are we? 3,500 almost. Look at that, we're almost over the Hudson, gentlemen. Can you see your house from here? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So now we're right here. We are in Stuart's airspace, but it's 3,000 and above, you're fine. So we can go through their airspace. Because really, they're, I guess, underneath us. Right. At that point. It's, it's, like, it's like an upside down uh, birthday cake when it comes to airspaces. I know, it's weird. Yeah, the higher you go, the right. wider the airspace, I guess. How does it work traveling to other airports? Do you have to get permission to travel it, through certain ones? or uh, if, you, if I want to cut through their airspace lower than 3,000, I have to call them. Um, and then you also get flight following. They'll follow you where your destination is. 
and other airports might have towers. Like Orange County doesn't have a tower, so it's self-announced. So okay. all you do is you talk to them when you're how, depending how far out you are. That every airport's different. They let you know if it's clear or not. Right. Well, the other airplanes you hear them in a the pattern, so you got to kind of work your way in to to what everybody else is doing. Okay. Should we tell where we're going? Uh, you know, I think we should just head there. Right? Wait a little yeah, longer? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, she's... So we'll, we'll be back before your spot, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> she's, a, she's a smart girl, so of course. by the time we get in the general direction, she'll know where, I guess. <laughs> but we're, we were on the highway coming over, she's like... She thought that we were coming over here to the waterfront to get on a boat. I'm like, that was actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> True. Well, there's the uh, there's Beacon and there's Newark. Uh, Newark, oh my God. Beacon over there and uh, Newburgh coming up. That's the Beacon Bridge there. And the Newburgh waterfront here. Oh. There's a throughway. My old job, I was bringing a truck back from like Albany area. It almost blew up right here at this toll booth. Oh, really? Yeah, it overheat and all that stuff. I'm gonna switch tanks just so I can do that while we're close to the airport. So let's do that. We'll put the fuel pump on and undo this. And uh, we're going to switch tanks. on the fullest tank. Cool. We're good. That way there's no issue. Yeah, we're, we have plenty of fuel. We have two and a half hours plus of fuel. 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 What's plenty. all that noise? That's uh, down here. I can't tell her the secret, remember? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Here's the Hudson River. Nobody's out there today. Look how beautiful that is. Take some pictures too if you have your phone out. Yeah, whatever you gotta do. Yeah, I can't be the only one, Jenna. <laughs> I only got limited space. That's awesome. Jenna, can you hear me? Jenna, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Nick? Yep. She can hear us right now, so right there's the city. One o'clock. Tell mess with her. We can't, we can, she can't hear us right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sit up here and laugh. What the hell's going on? <laughs> I edit that out anyway. Uh, All right. Put a nice little beep in there. Or yeah. yeah. Beep beep. It's like a whole experience West for Point. you know. West Point's coming up. Oh yeah, all, all along that little cut out there. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't that funny how strategically placed that is? How there's a little yeah. bend in the river? Yep. Go to football games here? I do, yeah. A couple of them. Rivalry, rivalry week? Say yeah. That ten times fast. <laughs> yeah. I can't say that once. Yeah, so there's Is uh, that a train? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The long one. Yeah.
coming up on the right, you will see West Point Academy. There's Mikey Stadium. Yeah, Gemma? Yep. There's the, I believe, um, what bridge is that? That's um, the Bear Mountain Bridge. The Bear Mountain Bridge, yeah. yep. <laughs> it's cool, right? <laughs> she's this like, is she, awesome. She's like a dog on a car ride, like face <laughs> up against the window. <laughs> but don't drool. <laughs> I'll just wag my tail. There you go. Yeah. That's all that matters. I swear this is smoother than the propeller pain I took to Nashville. Oh, you little, took a little prop job down there? Uh-huh. What was it, our last flight into Stewart from the honeymoon? That was probably the worst landing I've ever had. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They can get bouncy. Yeah, well, uh, I think he, you know, forced it down, I guess. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Possible. Very possible. That's a cool lake. There's that road, Bear Mountain Road there. Four acre town traffic that ends is four miles. That's where Ken, and Jeff, and I went hiking someplace around there. Oh yeah. I heard that Stewart is, you know, a pretty tough airport to land at because it's, of the the river and whatnot. With well, all it the could wind. be, but it has long runways. Yeah. Uh, that was technically. Like one of the biggest in the country. Well, the second, the uh, with the um, the space shuttle, that was the second place for it to go if it couldn't land in Florida. Oh wow! Back in the day. Yeah. Oh, it's got all those big cargo planes. Oh yeah. For the military. So. Oh yeah. Long runway. They're keeping Trump's plane there. They, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, yep. and I think in Morristown, back and forth, I think something like that. Who's Morristown Airport? I thought they were doing something there with his plane there too. Uh, or maybe his helicopter or something. I saw it there the other day, actually. Oh yeah, we drove by. The Donald. <laughs> there you go down there. I think there's something coming up that's white. I don't know. It's like a blue water pond or some sorts. Over there to the right. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Get some pictures of that. I don't know. What, I don't know what that is. I, I have to. Almost research looks like that. A, lo almost looks like a quarry. Right. Yeah, there it is, yeah. What area is that in? Uh, I'm not sure. It's, I think we're still in New York, but I don't know what that is, what area yeah. it is. Or mountain area, whatever that, whatever that's called. Huh. That's pretty. Hey, Nick, look at the city straight ahead. Nice. Creeping up on it. Look at that traffic right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right above you. Yeah, a thousand feet above us. I saw him way back on the TCAS here. Oh, you can see him right on there? Yep. He, now, will they show up if they're not? He's right here, like, too. Like, let's look. say. Oop. He's right. That's him. Oh, too far out. That's him right there. Oh, okay, right above you there. Yep. Yeah, it comes up on here, too. Does he have to be logged into that system no. in order to show you? Oh, well, he has to have the transponder. Okay. Which most planes have that. Is that a law or is that just uh, like in 2020? You're supposed to have some updates to it, so they're, re they're really forcing people to start having that now. There's the uh, new Tap and Z Mario Cuomo. Oh God, don't get me started. <laughs> But yeah, I always make a point to kind of call it the tap and see. Tap and see. How you doing back there, okay? I'm doing great. All right, awesome. This is amazing. We were just down here last weekend. 
Oh yeah? Was it last weekend, Jenna? Last weekend. Yeah, yep, Terrytown. Yep, cross right over that bridge. Terrytown's cool. Yeah. Cold Springs is cool in the water there. Yep, we were at a wedding for one of her best high school friends. Allegedly. Yeah. Loud and clear. Let me see that cheat sheet real quick. Play some golf. <laughs> all the sailboats are out now, finally. Oh, yeah. The boats are all docked and for the season. Yep. You go out on boats at all? I do, yeah. I like boats. You know Michelle DeLulo, right? Or yeah. Michelle, what's yeah. her last new last name? I forgot. Um, Saint Pierre, something like that. She, right. Her, her and her husband just bought a boat. I was out in the Hudson Yard like last week. Fishing or just riding around? Just riding around. Yeah. My other friend has a 32 foot boat, pretty decent size. That, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. That costs him money a year. Two grand, or uh, 12,000 ish sometimes between docking and dry docking it. And oh, out here on the Hudson, yeah. I bet. She grew up on the waters. Her, yeah. dad, her dad's a big boat guy. As we get a little lower, just so you know, make it a little bouncy, but that's all normal, okay? All right, sounds good. Do you see anything straight ahead yet? I see I see the city. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, think, no. I think she caught on. <laughs> this is awesome that you can literally go right along the river. Yep. Is it normally this uh, free and clear in the air? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Not too busy, I guess. It can get, it can get busy, uh, but like there's a lot of rules you got to do, and you got to take a little test online, of course, to be able to do this legally. Ah. But there's a lot of things you got to know. Like all the lights have to be on. Landing light, twi uh, strobes. Make yourself aware, known, yeah. known and aware. Yeah. yeah. Put it down a little lower. There's a tap and Z. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let Mario hear you. <laughs> I think people are so used to just calling it tap and Z yeah. that they're just going to keep calling it that. So the Hudson River is like a road. When you do this excursion, you basically you go down uh, south, you say to the right like a car. Say to the right of the Hudson, come okay. back up uh, north, say to the right of the Hudson. See that road go through the water? Yeah. Underneath us, it was like that was pretty cool. Like a little canal. Yeah. It's gonna be tough to top this anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, you can top it. Surprise! You're on doing the Hudson River corridor excursion. This is amazing. She uh, she gave me a good idea for next year though with the boat. This so is more fun than a boat. <laughs> yeah. But yes, boats are cool. You get over Beacon, they have those that do like a little tour. Well, they.
they come all the way down here? They'll probably come all the way down here, right? I, I, I don't, I don't know. know how far down they go. I mean, it's a lot further than you think on a boat. Oh, yeah. It is. Especially going back up river. Right. Okay, back there. Doing good. Awesome. <laughs> the uh, Garmin, I mean the uh, four flight, keeps telling me uh, caution, uh, hazardous ahead because of the bridge. <laughs> Is it taller than normal or? No, it's fine. Just because yeah. of the height you're at? Yeah. Telling you, caution? Yeah. yeah. Just makes you be aware of what's what you're, in your surroundings. In Hudson River traffic, uh, Green and White Mooney is southbound of Alpine Tower. Alpine Tower is right there, over there somewhere. Or did we just pass it? Yeah. That, that's yeah. one of your. That's oh, one of your. Yeah. That's one of your points of calling. Yep. I have all my lights on. We're going to 1,200 feet. Where Sully landed, went over, right over the uh, George Washington, landed straight ahead, nice and calm. Is that a cruise ship? Uh, yes, it is. So this is the George Washington. Bridge. Yeah, coming up. Yeah. Yep. So we are in the corridor. So you can go from a thousand to uh, thirteen, but not including thirteen hundred, because the airspace above that, you got to go to a tower in New York. You get permission to fly the food air. It slows down a little bit. There aren't any pedals on my side. Yes, right? there is. There is. I felt that. Okay, I was you're fine. Say. You're fine. <laughs> And Hudson River traffic, uh, Green and White Mooney. Uh, how beautiful that is, right? That's amazing. City. It's so clear. Right on, on the way back, that's why once you see on that side, you'll see closer on your side the city. You don't want to see New Jersey. I mean, it's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Jersey. We love New Jersey. There's always some static down here. The next will be the Intrepid. That's our next call out, which is down here. I'm guessing that's the ship. Yep. If you go in the morning down here, it's not as busy with the helicopters and the other planes and everything else going on. Huh. 
Oh yeah, I see. I see a couple out there. I see one out there, way out there. Oh yep, I see it. West Side Highway, the Freedom Tower, um, Central Park. Wow, look at that. Helicopter, BZ, on the speed, southbound. I'm flying sideways a little bit. Yeah, that's just a wind. Yeah. It's pushing us a little bit. I see the Statue of Liberty. I always get that freak. I always get that that shh down here. Yeah, I don't understand. Have you asked other people if they get it? Yeah, some do, some don't. It's weird. There's the Intrepid. We'll get on the way back to. We're gonna snag some pictures of that. So if that's the Freedom Tower, what yes. are they doing to that building? Or are they just working on it? They're just, yeah, they're, they're, that one right there, they're just building it. That's a new building. So that's gonna be taller, yeah. it looks like. Uh, oh yeah, no, that's like half a building yeah. there. That almost looks taller, doesn't it? Other over traffic, uh, red and white, red, I'm sorry, white and green, Mooney is southbound, uh, the Intrepid at 12,000, 1200. Ooh, tight, twin twist, tongue twisted. There's the Intrepid right there. Can we get your, can we get your camera? Is your camera on? Yep. Empire State Building? Yep. Cool. The lady is coming up. Our next call out is going to be the clock on the New Jersey side. That's just to keep updating them, right? Yes. Whoever else is doing this can hear me, we hear them. Mine is a, a squelch here to shh, crap. Yeah. What about the bigger planes? They don't really... No, they, they don't talk to us. They go right up top. Okay. They, yeah. We're nothing. <laughs> We're peons down here. Look at that plane to your right. See him landing in Newark. You see him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's getting low. Yep. Okay, get your cameras ready, here comes a lady. In Hudson River traffic, uh, green and white boonie, it's southbound at the clock, 1200. Look at that crane up there. Helicopter, Statue of the Liberty, 800 feet, southbound. It's amazing. Look at this side, look at this guys. There's a, there's a Freedom Tower. Yep. <laughs> That's an awesome building. Way back to get a much better view of it. We're actually underneath it. Isn't that crazy? We're underneath the Freedom Tower. Yeah. We're right above it. The helicopter circling the lady down there, so he's at 800 feet. Oh. Don't worry. They get a little bumpy over here because of the, the, the water and the wind. Opens up a little Cross, bit. Yeah. Cross breeze. Get to get that lady. Where she is. And Hudson River traffic, uh, white and uh, green. Mooney is at the Lady, 1200 southbound. Put the wing down a little bit. Get, get that picture right there, perfect. Got it? Got it. Awesome. Nice. With the tip of the wing on it, that oh, was yeah. cool. <laughs> that was cool. Now, those, see, those are going into, uh, these are airplanes there. They're going into, um... Those are pretty small. Yeah, small, smaller going than into, the last But the airport's in the Bronx. I always forget that airport. I forget what that airport is in the Bronx. Um, they come to mind in a second. And there's a the Verrazano. Let's see outside temperature. 77 degrees already. A little bit 
warmer down here than it is where we live. There's all the boats at the port there. Yeah. That's a big uh, boat coming out. Yep. All the imports go there for the most part. That's one of the one of the ports. China or wherever they come from. That's all Newark Airport to our right? That is, yes, yeah. that's Newark. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> I imagine yesterday, yesterday would, be, would have been the so whole, the whole way, right? the whole way. Yeah. Worse than that, your Oop. seat, your seat belt will be holding you in your seat. Really? Yeah. That's how windy it was yesterday. Okay, it's our last call out. And uh, Hudson River traffic, uh, green and white Mooney is at the Verrazano 1200. We're making a 360. There's a Verrazano. We're going to make a, a 360. So we've got no traffic coming in. Got the bigger planes. It's fine with them. They're away from us anyway. We'll go out here, make a re little U turn. Helicopter, 600 feet, touch the Liberty, northbound. This is the Atlantic. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. It's. I mean, you can, one thing I love about aviation is you can go anywhere you want to go at any time. That's, over any part of land. That's how great yeah. this country is and allows to do all this. But you can go to block, I mean, you can just go places so quickly. All right, go make a U-turn. All right, we're good left, no traffic, no helicopter, no nothing over there, nothing on my TCAS, so we're looking right. Now we're going to bank left. Nice turn. Going to watch our speed. Look at that. Stay at 1200. We're going to go back into the corridor in about two seconds here. Nice turn, right? Oh yeah, very smooth. I'm back for my first day. Very smooth. I gotta figure out how to land. <laughs> I can do the traffic. Better figure that out before we get back, I guess. I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Northbound, uh, we'll be passing over the Verrazano at 1500, down to 12. He's right here. Helicopter, 600 feet. Sweet block. view. I think it went away, it'll go back. When we get down here, it'll go back on again. Yeah, you get to see things at an angle oh, yeah. that you don't see anywhere else. And Hudson River traffic, uh, green and white Mooney, is over to Verrazano, uh, 1200 northbound. We've only been flying for a half an hour. That's what I'm saying, but an hour round tripish. That's crazy. Isn't it? Crazy. I know. Awesome. Smoke Town traffic, check down 406 Echo Sears, 10 to the south. Inbound, uh, full stop from way 28 via flight of three, Smoke Town. Smoke Town. LaGuardia, that's it. They're going into LaGuardia. I thought you were talking about some smaller airport. But no, that's no, yes, LaGuardia. Yeah. Well, LaGuardia is a small runway, actually. It's not that big, believe it or not. Right to the ocean. <laughs> or the Hudson, right to the Hudson. Yeah. That airport's always under construction. Intrepid, northbound. A lot of water traffic. Look, look at that perfect view of this, like that corner of downtown Manhattan, the business district. Yeah, so it's amazing.
Yeah, when we turned before the bridge, that was a crazy picture. Yeah, you got, bridge, you got a good one, right? Bridge with the whole skyline behind yeah, it. That's cool. There's the uh, static again. Coming back into it. I know. You okay back there? I'm doing great. Doing good? Awesome. Doing great. Skyhawk 642 Sierra Papa is over there in Verrazano at 1200. Hudson Irvin. Another plane behind us doing the same thing. you ever take anybody up in the air and they completely freak out? Not yet. Uh, a couple at first, then they got used to it, just like anything else. Where'd you go? I lost you. Me? Oh, you there? You can't hear me? Oh, did you hit something? Kinda. Not really. Can you hear me now? Uh, turn the volume. Okay, let's see, maybe I dropped this. Oh, I got you yeah, back. You I got you. Got it, okay. Got you, got you. There's the beautiful lady. Is that a racetrack? What is that down there? And after traffic, uh, green and white Mooney is at the lady, uh, 1200 northbound. And look at this big ship coming out of the port. Yep. Here comes the Freedom Tower. Get that awesome pictures, my friend. We're underneath that thing. So cool. Pretty cool, right? Nice, yeah. Sorry, man. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. It's all right. Imagine building that thing. Awesome. Helicopter. Trying to see if, see if I can see anybody working in there. <laughs> and again, it's a Sunday. Everyone's probably home. There's a Brooklyn Bridge, Jenna. How's the river traffic? Uh, yep. uh, Green and in... Uh, wait, Mooney at the clock. Northbound at 1200. Traffic Skyhawk 642 Sierra Papa's northbound 1200 at the statue. Now look at this, this look at this, maybe a condo place, or whatever. Look at that balcony on that. Oh my god. Top of that building. That sticks way out there. Yeah. Imagine that in a windy day. Phew. <laughs> Okay, the um, Verizon, uh, the um, Intrepid's next, so I'll try to get it over school as much as I can. I can't go on this side, but I'll get it as, as close as I can to get it some pictures. I got you. Yeah, I see it right there. Yeah. There's Madison Square Garden. Look at that balcony. Hi, people! <laughs> They're 12 feet, 100 feet off the ground, those people there. That's crazy. Intrepid should be coming up very soon. I don't know if you guys can get it. We'll have to yep, you get you're it almost right over top of it. There you go. Snap those pictures. Man, that cruise ship is something. Wow, look at that boom. River traffic, uh, green and white Mooney is at the Intrepid, 1200 uh, northbound. Are you talking about that staggered building? Yeah, the triangle. Yeah. 
Hudson River traffic, Skyhawk, uh, 1,200 feet, uh, World Trade Center. Oh, he's right behind us. Ever come an issue with passing or something like no, that? No, you can't do that. You can't. You just got to just hang out behind Yeah, him. you got to slow down then. This is very narrow as it is, and at yeah. last you can need someone trying to overpass you or whatever. Right. Narrow and a lot of people up above you. Right. You know, that's, that's Central Park. Yep. Yeah. Take some pictures. Oh, we got to get a selfie in a plane. All right, everybody, look in here. Two calls keep out of the middle, Kwan. Southend and around the battery, headed to 3 0. Gotta do, gotta do another one. Yeah, got to do one. One more. And Sorry. We're doing good. Trying to get Nick in there. All right, that's got to do. I'll take one. Oh, that's better. Perfect. Awesome. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? It's, it's amazing. I'm looking, <laughs> at, I'm looking at the cars in the traffic, and I'm like, ha ha, you know, yeah, right? You know, it's like this is so much better. What stadium is that over there? That's Yankee Stadium. Yeah. yeah. You have a game later, so I can't. You see how this red, this red circle, as a TFR, it means after one o'clock you cannot fly through here unless you get permission, unless you go through, you know, hoops and hurdles, whatever. Huh? Is that because like you know, they don't want anybody flying by the stadium? Or stop if someone does anything stupid. Yeah. Or yeah. even just an emergency. Yeah. There's a lot of people down there. Yeah. That is helicopters. <laughs> All right, not good morning. We're inbound with five people to drop and go. Yeah, we're, we're approaching the Verrazano. I'm sorry, the uh, George Washington. George Washington. Spot two, and it is Alpha November today. Alpha November traffic, Renway Skyhawk, northbound Verrazano, 1100. And Hudson River traffic, uh, green and white Mooney is at the George Washington, 1200 northbound. Have a scan of the air, 10,000. Hudson River traffic, 642 Sierra Pop is northbound at Central Park. Getting busier. Oh, and during the daytime? Oh, yeah. And people come here at night, too. It's beautiful at night. You don't get to see as much as the scenery, though. No, you see lights. Lights, yeah, a lot of lights. A lot of lights. Do you find that flying, like let's say, in the, like the winter months or fall months, different than flying in the warmer weather? Well, the, the plane performs differently. Like it's a little bit longer takeoffs, depending on how heavy you are. The air, you know, the air is a lot thinner. Um, but it's nice in the summertime because you get to go places and see green instead of gray. Right. <laughs> but at, at, in the winter time, the plane performs a lot better. Because of the air sticker, so the, so the prop cuts it quicker, and you're, out, you're in the air quick, much quicker. So really, you're saying like fall time would be but best. Yes. You, well, you go to the Catskills in the fall in an airplane. Oh, I bet the colors. Yep. Crazy. Yep. Where's your favorite place you have ever flown? Um, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. They Wisconsin. Have, they, have, they have the big flying in there, and that's a beautiful place to fly up in that area. They have what out there? A big flying, like 15,000 planes show up there every year. I go uh -huh. next month. Hudson River traffic, Cessna 642 Sierra Papa is 1,100 feet. That's Even that's Block Island is really cool to go to, to see everything, you know? Where exactly is that? That's right off of Rhode Island. Okay. So but it's really cool houses, the scenery, the, the water, the beaches. Even the boats, I bet. The too. boats, yeah. they're all tied down there. Not tied down, but they're all slipped in there, I guess that's how yeah, you'd say yeah. it. In boat term. Uh, but yeah, everything is everything comes to life this time of year. No more static. Look at that. Beautiful. And we're approaching the uh, aisle.
Alpine Tower soon. And we're done. We're out of, out of their airspace shortly, and then we can... Then you really don't have too many well, call-outs after that? No, right? no call-outs after that. Basically, got to be aware of other planes in the area. You're always scanning. I just want to thank you again. Oh, it's, I know it was short notice. It's all, all good, man. Glad I could do this for you. Support traffic in five minutes. Jump activity 10,000 feet below and support in five minutes. I'll edit all the video and I'll send it over to you so you have it. Yeah, send me the link. I'll share it on my page too. Yeah, sure. I'm glad that she didn't throw up. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you might have yesterday. I mean, the winds were gusting at 25 miles an hour. That's not fun. A couple here and there is okay, but a couple a constant, you know, loss yeah. of your stomach. <laughs> yeah. That that'll get to anybody. I mean, if I you're guess. flying in the wind, it's not a big deal. It's steady wind. When you're getting, when you're getting, uh, you know, wind shear and gust, it's like <laughs> it comes out of nowhere, right? Yeah. That's the traffic. Grand Lake Sky, or Red Lake Sky, rather. Uh, North Mountain Statue, 1,100. Are these air? Are these? Yeah. You want it on? Yeah, sure. And Hudson River traffic, yeah, uh, green and white Mooney is uh, 1200 northbound Alpine Tower. See ya, good day. <laughs> okay, so let's turn this. Uh, where are we here? Oops, sorry. There, turn it up. Turn that on for you. Ah, I see. There you go. There you go. I should have done it a while ago, sorry. I was good on the way down when, I, when the sun hit me. Yeah, the sun bakes you in here. When you go higher, we're kind of low, so it's 80 degrees-ish now, almost, probably. Let's see what it is down here. 73. And when it's hitting you, it's, it gets kind of hot -er. But when you go up, 75, 65, 75, 85, 9,500, it's nice and cool. That's my air conditioning. <laughs> Natural. Natural! Super Clarence, public out of the 960 I'm going to climb up a little bit now. Hudson River traffic from Skyhawk, uh, northbound Alpine Tower at 1,500 feet. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? Beyond cool. It's beyond cool. This is like once in a lifetime. Well, no, not you, for you. No, you, <laughs> no, you guys can go. When you want to go again, let me know. We'll go again. It's not a big deal. I'm going to climb up. River traffic, Sikorsky helicopter is uh, joining the Hudson southbound at the, uh, the Intrepid. We've got a southbound at the Intrepid as well. Is this? 68. Looks great. Yeah. Like I said, the brand new ones, the, the, the basically the changes are the panel. It's all glass, mostly all glass. Other than that, everything's the same. They are, every plane flies the same. Might get a little bouncy over here because of some of the ridges and some of the winds. Right, right. So, you know? That's why I'm trying to climb up a little bit higher for us. There you go, there's some smooth. Yep, we'll get smoother as we get up a little higher. Yeah, we're up on the way down, let's do uh, 30 aside on this one. Is that just a piece of the old bridge shit in there? Yep. Yeah. Sikorsky set the clock, rounding the battery for downtown. Break downtown, 976. Windhurst Manor, that's where... Traffic, factory box out with you on the go, 2 8 minutes traffic. Pretty much, uh... Traffic, Skyhawks on the 45... 
left downwind, runway 28. Okay, you're back in plenty of time. Oh, yeah. Can you see it, Jenna? Can you see the banner? Oh. You ever hear the it's Lindhurst? Got, it's got to be over to the right a little yeah. bit, right? Yeah. That's where the wedding was last weekend, her uh -huh. friends. It wasn't super open by the water. Okay, we'll, like, you could uh, see the water, but... Over in the It's, it's pretty close to the Tappan Zee here. If we were if we were to open a water, would it, it pre don't matter up here, right? Pressure be all right? Oh yeah, yeah, you're fine. Okay. I already did. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sprayed all over. Prince of traffic, got two blocks out. Whiskey departing to the north. Prince of traffic. We're backing out to Orange County. We're about 30 nautical miles away. What's that equivalent to? Uh, it's basically the point A to point B. There's no roads. So, like, miles in a car, but, you know, you got roads can add miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And air miles are basically the bird right there. Point A to point B. <laughs> you, cut, you cut all the turns out. <laughs> yeah. uh, we flew out the birds up here. <laughs> we love birds. Yeah, as long as they don't fly into you. As long as they don't fly into us. It happens. Uh, the, the little birds somewhat that you see up here, some of the hawks, they get out of your way pretty quickly. It's those damn Canadian geese who just look at you like you want to get hit. <laughs> they, don't, they move out of the way so slow, so... Prince of Traffic, got two fox right with you, departing to the north, left call, Prince of Traffic. Prince of Traffic, Skylane's turning left, crosswind, uh, 28 Princeton, and departing southbound. It's cool listening to them. You can, you can almost see where they're going. Yeah. You start to pick up on it real quick. Yeah. Traffic in sight on the 45 downwind. Okay, traffic. 7 down and pop the other turning. Downwind, remember 2 6. It's smooth right here. I'm going to stay right here for her. Princeton traffic starts on the left downward runway 28, Princeton. Is this a... Yep, hit it. She doesn't know about the spa. Oh, shit. Thanks for telling me. I don't know if she caught on. No, she didn't. <laughs> you catch on pretty quick. She doesn't know anything. Awesome. That's a cool yeah. picture. Uh-huh. I think my favorite one so far is the one with the wing down with the Statue of Liberty. That's a cool one. Yeah. You gotta tell me these damn things. I don't, I don't ruin her surprise. <laughs> hey, well, it is what it is. She, yeah. I won't say nothing. <laughs> You and me out? No. Uh, no. No, no, no. I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Told you she catches on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Damn teachers. <laughs> Always trying to figure us out. She doesn't miss a beat. Well, she kind of does. <laughs> oh, I can. I'm blonde, remember? Yeah. Loud and clear. So I hope everybody else liked it on the on the YouTube channel here that follows me around. What do you think, Jenna? Do you think they liked it like we did, the YouTube people?
Say that again. You think the YouTube people are going to like this video? Oh, I think they're going to love it. Awesome. I sent you one I did a long time ago on your phone. Yeah. Yep. Now, when we get over these ridges right here, you see in front of us? Yeah. So you know, it might get a little, a little, a little bumpy. Okay. The wind goes over and it goes, it goes, it kind of like this. But that's, that's normal. I'm not even going that fast. I have the power and I'm all the way in. <laughs> I'm just chilling, you know? This plane's a pretty fast plane. Moving pretty good, yeah. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Hey guys, well, thank you for flying along with myself, Nick, and his beautiful wife, Jenna. Congratulations again on their first year wedding anniversary and many, many more to come. This is their first time in a small aircraft and they had a great time going into Hudson River. Uh, one of our greatest things we can still do in the United States is fly down that Hudson River corridor. Beautiful times, and thank you for everybody who keeps that open for GA pilots. But again, thank you guys. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like automatic notifications, you can hit the bell on the bottom right of the uh, video. And every time I upload a video, you'll get an automatic notification that I did so. And also, you can email me at pilotfund101 at gmail.com. Any questions you may have, um, I'll get back to you. If I don't have the answer, I'll get the answer for you. Or if you want to talk about some fun stuff, I'm always on board for that. Also, find me on Facebook at pilotfund101. Surprisingly, I have about 6,500 followers on Facebook. And hopefully soon I'll have that on my channel. All right, guys. Thank you. Like always, fly safe. Be safe. Until next time. See ya.